The member from Parkdale High Park. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Premier. There are currently doctors practicing in Ontario, paid by OHIP, who believe that being gay, lesbian, bisexual, or trans is a form of mental illness. Instead of offering support to LGBTQ kids, these doctors tell them they are broken and need to be fixed. Instead of helping, they use abusive conversion therapies that try to turn these kids straight. I recently introduced a bill that would prevent Ontario's doctors from abusing LGBTQ kids with such so-called therapies. California and New Jersey have already passed similar laws. Premier, I ask on behalf of survivors like Erica Muse and the victims who did not survive like Leela Alcorn, will you ban conversion therapy for LGBTQ children? Mr. Health and Long-Term Care. Mr. Health and Long-Term Care. You see that, please? Thank you, Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I too want to applaud the member opposite. I think this is an important, uh, very important issue. I personally find this type of alleged treatment uh, abhorrent. And well, alleged in the eyes of those who actually perpetrate this misconduct, it, this isn't treatment. And our Ontario Human Rights Code uh, is very specific on issues such as this. So this, I welcome the private member bill, members bill, private members bill from the member opposite, and I look forward to working with her. I know it's going to be debated this afternoon, and I want to emphasize, Mr. Speaker, that no current medical guidelines anywhere that I've found, certainly not in this province, support or endorse this kind of alleged treatment that would aim to change or convert someone away from being LGBT. Answer. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Back to the Premier. The Health Minister recently denied that OHIP was paying for conversion therapy for LGBT kids. The fact is there are doctors, including very influential doctors, who are still trying to fix LGBTQ kids with abusive so-called conversion therapies. These doctors can and do bill OHIP for these abusive counselling sessions. Just last week, as a result of my bill and the hard work of LGBTQ activists, CAMH has launched a complete review of their treatment of trans youth, treatment the minister has denied is even happening. Again, to the Premier, do you agree that such conversion therapy Order. for LGBTQ students and children should be banned in Ontario? Thank you. Minister. Well, Mr. Speaker, I, I take great offence to the accusation that I have somehow, at any point in time, said that this treatment isn't occurring or doesn't exist. It, it, I Order. challenge you to find that public record, but Mr. Speaker, excuse me, stop the clock, please. Um, we best do our debating through the chair, and that way we don't uh, change the debate tenure. So I would ask the minister to address me and keep the heckling to a minimum. So the member opposite, Mr. Speaker, does know that there is no billing code in the schedule of benefits for OHIP for conversion therapy or anything like it. Uh, I have asked the call. I will be asking the colleges as well, the relevant ones, because there are a number that potentially could be involved in uh, addressing this important situation to explore amending the regulations to ban this practice uh, as it should be banned. I believe if a particular incident were to be brought forward, and I would encourage anyone who is aware of such alleged treatments taking place anywhere in this province that they should go forward to the appropriate regulatory body. I'm asking them to uh, review Answer. their regulations, uh, and certainly it is nothing. This this is not something this government would ever support or endorse. <laughs>